go outside. Do you ever feel just truly inspired, like you can run and jump and yell and just, well, I'm too old for that, but, you know, and th this is uh, a little different for me. I usually uh, make make some notes and uh, somewhat in my eyes a minute ago. It is now. In more ways than one, actually. That's why I feel uh, inspired right now. I started thinking about how um, Nicodemus, what he asked Jesus. And if you have to be, well, you have to be honest about it. You, you, you got to you ask yourself the same question at first. As you're reading and you're new to everything. Well, I, I get it. I'm an old man. <laughs> and my body's done. But. Man. The Lord is just so great. Everything. My life's been such a waste, or had been such a waste, and now everything's becoming completely new inside. And when I think about what Jesus went through for, for me, he took the punishment for the way I live my life. It just blows my mind and when I think about that it's when you read what he took oh man I can't even begin to imagine the pain the physical pain and then when I think about how I've lived my life and denied him all my life after all he went through for me. <laughs> Man, I, I gotta tell you, I know there's, I know of at least one person that uh, has been watching my videos and is, I don't know exactly, I have I don't know if he still is or not, but heroin is such, such a trap and such a, a, a vicious hook. You know, I spent 27 years of my life trapped in that. And there I would, oh, there were so many times I would tell people, I don't want to quit, I like it. Which, I'm not going to lie, there was, I did like the high at times. But I always wanted to quit. And couldn't. And I'm here to tell you, on your own, even if you manage to stop going through AA or NA, you aren't going to get what I got right now, which is a, a, an inner peace that I've never had. And it's a beautiful thing. It really is. It's a beautiful thing. And the only reason I have it is because of Jesus. And because of his word. He is the word. Something else that's that's been happening lately is um, in the beginning of all this, you know, people tell you, start with the Gospel of John, read all, read the Gospel of John, and then you can start reading the New Testament. And I do, I have every day, I'm in the Bible, every day, and have been for a few months now. But then, uh, it's, it's been... Well, it's been four and a half books of the Old Testament ago that um, I decided to start reading in the Old Testament every day. And 
people had told me, well, the Old Testament's for your learning. Man, the Old Testament is beautiful. When you start running into where Jesus is quoting the Old Testament, it just does something to me anyway. I don't know about anybody else, but when I when I see and experience the Trinity, there's no area. I can't, I don't have words for it. I mean, what am I to God? That question right there goes through my mind all the time. What am I to God? Who am I that you would take uh, 40 stripes of the cat of nine tails and spit on, have your beard yanked out, punched in the head, my big old Judean thorns uh, uh, braided into a crown, pounded down into your skull. There's big old spikes that drove through the base of your hand and your feet. Oh, man. Because he is God. He was God in the flesh. He lived a sinless life. He was the blemishless lamb that was led to slaughter to take the punishment and sin of the world so that no one would perish or wouldn't have to perish. I've been reading a lot about um, different histories of this and that and looking at different versions of the Bible and trying to decide which is right and which is wrong. Well, I come to the conclusion that if whatever version of the Bible you have, if you believe Jesus died for your sins and you trust that he is the only way to be saved and you can win arguments or win people to Christ with your Bible, hey, as long as Jesus is inside and in your corner, that's all that really truly matters. To me anyway. But again, who am I? Just a broke down old biker without a bike. Man. But, you know, I felt, uh, I felt um, inspired. I just... I hadn't planned on making a video. I, I uh, wanted to share, you know. And uh, you all know anybody that's watched any of my videos or all of them, which I can't imagine doing that because I've, after I make one, I sit through it. And I'm like, man. <laughs> but any of y'all that have know that I'm still looking for a church and I keep visiting churches and uh, I'm learning to, to stand on 1 Thessalonians 5 21 I believe it is you know, pretty much what it, I can't don't ask me to quote verses yet but I can tell you what some of them mean and, and what book they're in and what chapter may be but I know this one I know a couple of them actually that seem to uh mean a lot to me and that's one of them the, the first Thessalonians 521 and pretty much the brunt of that verse is test everything you know check it out um, hold on to what's good and what ain't working for you kind of let it go so if I go into a situation that the conflict doesn't add up to scripture for me or or something like that, or it's going to be too confrontational, then, you know, I split, but in Romans 8, 28, that's another one that I like a lot, and I'm not trying to be a cherry picker, but, you know, and I know that they weren't numbered in the beginning, the verses weren't, but since they are to help us remember where certain passages are, certain passages stand out to me and I guess I'm not the only one because Jesus quoted particular things from 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 the days before him 
from Deuteronomy, uh, Isaiah, Jeremiah, a bunch, but I'm going to start doing this at least, um, I'm going to try to start doing this right here at least once a week and fill y'all in on where I'm at, um, mistakes and all, because I mean, the way I look at things and who I am, if I'm not making mistakes, chances are I'm not doing anything. Because I remember at one point, uh, people trying to lead me to Christ, and, and my, my, my thing would be, you know, well, I got to quit doing this and this and this first, you know. And then finally, this has been a while back, finally somebody looked me in the eye and said, man, do you have to get cleaned up to take a bath? <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that's what sanctification is, which is what I'm still, it's still happening. But praise Jesus. That's man. 